Welcome to Coffee Conversations and Keeping It Real. I am Trina George, and I am the owner of Sensible Senior Services, and here with me, my co-host, my awesome, awesome co-host, mm-hmm. Philip Marcel. Oh, yeah. Philip Marcel Photography. I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so today, we got some special guests. Uh, two very interesting guys. Will K. Brick, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a yeah. graffiti tag name, really. That's dope. <laughs> That's what I say, man. And then we have Eddie Bender, the one and only. How's that for a car guy name? Because yeah, Eddie's yeah, a car guy. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess it works <laughs> out. Yeah. I mean, if it works, <laughs> the shoe fits. I'll wear it. That's yeah, right, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, so, thank you guys for coming on our show, man. Thank you definitely, for definitely. You, de- you definitely have a cool story. And we cannot wait to tell it, man, for real. Like, yeah, yeah. Flourish Creative Studios. It's been a minute since I told that story, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm not saying, like, yeah. To it. yeah yes, I, yes. I feel like, Will, you want to try and start things off? It did yeah, kind of start with him anyway. Oh, is so. that a word? Yeah. Give us a little yeah. background, I'm man. Just, <laughs> I'm going to dump it on him. Oh, That's I'm right. Gonna, <laughs> all right. Um, I guess this all began 2015. It was summer. Um, I was transitioning from school. I was in school for three years. I actually dropped out. I couldn't afford it anymore, mm-hmm. no more loans, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was working for the school in the summertime, but I made the decision to drop out. And I, our neighbors at the university were actually in Gainesville at the time, just mm-hmm. working. They knew some people, so oh, they really? were here. So they said, hey, come down for the summer. I mm. was like, all right. So kind of just made that leap. I took a bag with me. You didn't think it was a beach town, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know yeah. yeah I, 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 it was, like, this is Florida. You never beaches. know. Florida, <laughs> palm trees and beaches, yeah. right? I saw some palm trees on the way, you know, so yeah. that was a sign. But yeah, like definitely in the Welcome here. Center sign. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, man. Always palm trees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Welcome Center sign on 95 will throw you off. Oh, I know. It will. <laughs> like, There's no beach for hundreds of miles. That's so right. Awesome. No. Yes. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, we did that. Um, I got down here, uh, I think, ju- end of July or August. And uh-huh. since then, I just kind of focused on myself. They actually went back up and went to school and did oh, whatever. Really? Um, yeah, and I stayed. I, I just stayed by myself. What school were you at? Uh, Shippensburg University. Shippensburg, that was yes, Yeah, that was yes. in Pennsylvania. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I did the three years and then came down here and... Um, yeah, I just started working. I started Ubering. So I was yes. actually one of the, I would say one of the first Uber drivers here because oh, wow. we were still wow. pulling up in Midtown and taxis were still lining up. Wow. So yeah, yeah. So I was doing, yeah. So I, I was, didn't even know that. I know, yeah. Oh, so I was here doing the Uber <laughs> thing. The yeah. Uber driver. <laughs> Man, you heard it here. We got the original OG Uber <laughs> yeah, right. in Gainesville. <laughs> one of the first five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I did that to make an income, and um, I and I knew we had this intuition with um somebody who's not here anymore, but mm-hmm. he came down and had this. He lived with me at college, and we were gonna come down and create a clothing brand and just oh. start really flowing our creativity through yeah. the through the parts of Florida. And um, eventually he came down that December mm-hmm. and we just we started up a company and we called it We the Kids, which is based on my initials of my name. We were the, yeah. the whole concept was create clothing and help kids. You know, yes. Like the Ooh. proceeds and that um, come to find, you know, with as we learned through branding and just entrepreneur and all that. Yeah. Um, it didn't work with the branding of Florida, so we switched it to Flamingo Apparel. Yes. Um, and then we took off with that right. for about a year and a half or so. Yeah. And then that's kind of where I, me and him split off, and he kind of was getting introduced at the mm-hmm. end of Flamingo Apparel. Mm-hmm. And kind of like midway through it, too. Because when you guys oh, yeah. started that, I was still kind of helping out with like design work here and there and giving yeah. right. them pointers. Because oh, yeah. all while this was happening, I graduated college in 15 and then went to a marketing agency started working you know the normal nine to five gig and doing design work and campaigns for this company in pennsylvania who basically sells ad space so Mm -hmm. you know on the side to keep myself sane from the office life i would see them doing what they were doing down here and it was keeping me inspired you know right man i I like what they're doing and was helping them. so you knew them in school yeah yeah yeah, we all knew each other in school that's cool the old designer who i ended up replacing he was a friend of mine that i actually met in college too i met him when i first started so me and him linked up 
through the art program there. Ah. So that was the one thing that kept us connected the whole right, time. Right, right, right. <clears throat> just the fact that we all knew each other from Pennsylvania going to college. And yeah. Then, you know, started up the clothing brand. Yeah, so. came down here and yeah, just all started something similar that we wanted to connect with. So. All right. Mm-hmm. It's been fun, man. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been a wild ride, you know, uh-huh. just through networking with people and yeah. just seeing Florida and mm-hmm. just the things that we can create. And so, yeah. but then I guess eventually the apparel business started. We just tapered more towards the B two B branding, design, and right. uh, all that for your other businesses, just because um, you know. It an, I guess not so market. much of an, not so much of an easier sell, but I always say to people, you know, they would say, "Oh, nice T-shirt, but can you make me a business card? You know, can you make me an?" Oh, ad? really? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of how it, yeah. oh, yeah. you know, kind of oh, yeah. how it happened, yeah. and huh. so the name change kind of came about that, and yeah, we decided to LLC a, a to name for a design business. Yeah, yeah. Flamingo to flourish. flourish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Flamingo still is it's here. Still, yeah. It's still here. It's still, it's still active. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, the same person who invested in it um, <clears throat> bought it, and now uh-huh. he runs it and such. And yeah. Basically, okay. we still run their website. You know, oh, okay. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a cool collaboration, I would say. You know. Huh. So, so cool. I, just, hey, I want to see that thing mm-hmm. become the next million dollar company uh, yeah. in Florida, you know, too, even though I'm not a part of it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just I'm big on I'm big on creating brands, you yeah. know, and, and just, just the creativity of of creating things. I, right. Personally, I'm a big apparel guy. That's why I created an apparel brand, um, uh-huh. and that's why we still make you know apparel here and there with Flourish. Yeah. Um, I like the websites, and he's just the big tech guy behind you know all yeah. the t- all the technicals yeah. of art and design. So that's cool. That's design cool. nerd, so to speak. Yeah. Just, How did you get started in design? Oh, it was from. Uh, let's see here. High school, I guess, so to speak, when mm-hmm. I just torn in Photoshop and yeah. Illustrator. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> uh, just on my mom's computer because I was like, oh, man, this stuff. Because I took a class in high school and I was like, hey, right. this is actually kind of cool. Uh, you know, it was one of those things where I started picking up the program like really quickly. And that's yeah. just something that never happens. Like, that just never happens in my life. And so that was one of those signs where I was like, oh, maybe I should look into this more. And so then I, you know, illegally downloaded it and, <laughs> and uh, you know, tried it out a little exactly. bit because I did the free trial. I was like, oh man, I want to yes. keep, keep messing around. Uh huh. Uh huh. One thing led to another. Just so then I just, better, huh? yeah. So then eventually, then I've actually ended up buying the mm-hmm. programs and getting better at it, studying up, and then was like, oh, this is actually kind of a cool way to make a living. I feel like, mm. you know, I, I kind of like being able to take a business and be able to create the vision yeah. and help them. Right achieve something great from it you know or, were you getting paid gigs in high school no you, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, but in high school i was learning and you know just trying to sketch and i wasn't i had no real art background i never oh, wow. i never really picked up a pencil or anything yeah was like a child or anything so it was just kind of like i really it just kind of fell into my lap i was like i'm just gonna try it because i was in the phase where i was just trying stuff right and it stuck Mm-hmm. And I knew I couldn't be like an accountant or something where, I, you know, looking at numbers all day just wasn't my thing. So, right, right. You, you know, just had creativity. Yeah, if I was in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I was like, oh, I could actually make cool looking material and talk to people and network, but also make, make a living from it. I'm right, like, right. That's cool. Yeah. You can take pictures that's all there. Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. But Thank let me know. like come into Florida with the business. It's like, I want to. Like just mm. focus on that for a second, because yeah, yeah. it's like that's a big jump. I mean, from from that's like a, yeah. a lot of states. It's not like just, <laughs> yeah, it it's not oh, like yeah. you're just coming down from like you know to Towson, starting no, a little yeah, design no. studio yeah, yeah. from Shippensburg, <laughs> like right there, next door neighbor. But no, you guys. Honestly, have... like a big jump for us is like the B and I thing. Like, oh yeah, that was, was a big thing for us because I had seen Brad from UF Mover Guys. Yeah. And that and because I had actually I was working with UF Mover Guys and shout out UF Mover Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the yeah. muscle and the hustle. <laughs> you gotta have men. <laughs> <That's like laughs> yeah, while you know, while I was working there to pay my bills, I was doing my yeah. business. So yeah, and I seen, you know, I would talk to Brad once in a while and yeah. he would just talk to me about B and I and see how mm-hmm. I saw how great it was, how all the work he was pulling in referrals. Right, and, right. You know, I, I saw that was a system. So yeah. I knew for him when I kept telling him before he had moved down to get started this um i told him I was like b and i that's where we're gonna make the money you know mm-hmm. right so yeah of course, i'm I mean, just like okay i guess i'm doing this doing whole this group th- thing i'm like yes. all right uh i know uh-huh. it meets weekly so yeah that was yeah. kind of it but you get to meet people you just moved down here right <clears throat> yeah. for I mean, sure it was within moments of actually even visiting the chapter you were just in it uh-huh. was even with even at that smaller one i was like oh this is awesome this is yeah. kind of a, mm-hmm. I, I could tell this was a system that right yeah. different from from anything, anything I've seen, really. Yeah. So. Right, right, yeah. right, right. 
beats just coming down cold and not getting into anything you know yeah, it's just yeah, like man yeah. <laughs> oh yeah i mean he had to put full make... trust into me you know to yeah. base it like to be like yo is this yeah. really it is this yeah, really yeah, what, yeah, what's yeah. up so <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, I put trust in the other one too. But yeah. We, yeah, we don't, yeah. we don't, it's all it's all good, you know. Right, no bad right. blood there. But you know, it's one of those things, yeah. I was just like, you know, I I know I know the abilities of these guys and I knew you had a vision. I always said that from the start. Mm-hmm. I always yeah. knew this guy will. I, I even upon meeting him, I was like, This guy he wants something here. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> but I, I know he wants something that's not just Oh, you know the next uh, the next weekend party or something, uh-huh. you know. So yeah. you you felt the brand confidence yeah. from him. Yeah, it was just yeah. Yeah. so I was yeah. like, you know, and I was born and raised in PA, so right. I was just at the point where I was like, "Why not? You know, why not go?" I, Take I, a no, chance. I, yeah, try yeah, some. I have, yeah, you know, man. of course, I have my family that, but you know, right. that's um was really the only string holding me down. Yeah. So it was just, you know, why not? Yeah, yeah. They had, I have the support system there. They're still, you mm-hmm. know, supporting me in all this, and mm-hmm. yeah, everybody I've met down here, just shout out to everybody who's helped just bring me a part of this you know? yeah it's cool it's cool it was almost just a really a it was a, it was a, it was crazy and it was scary and right, frightening I... and oh i was almost this close to just packing everything up and driving back home you oh know? yeah <laughs> even yeah. after my third fourth week down here oh I, wow i was just <laughs> i was just i don't know i don't know i you know was still sleeping on two couch cushions covered on a blanket as yes. my bed when i first wow. got down wow. here Man. like straight up oh for real yeah yeah even like before i got the walmart <sighs> futon like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, so oh my god it's been it's been that's, something but that's I mean, ground up type I, stuff man that's... you can attest to that kind of story too i mean oh, yeah, i know yeah, you man. came down here sleeping with, in cars with... in miami oh, just because we have events and all the, Den- the denny's stuff. parking yeah, lot man Ooh. yeah there was a denny shout out to that denny's in miami <laughs> what, yeah. Yeah. we would have events in miami oh, for, for like um flamingo. vending for flamingo yeah. and yeah, yeah we, we we couldn't afford the hotel because it's not in our budget mm-hmm. so yeah we would just drive down and sleep in the car one time we had three people sleeping in my honda civic so oh my god <laughs> it was full of apparel, like oh wow, and, wow. and tent and, and all the that. Tent, so, the yeah. tablecloth, all the <laughs> in a Denny's parking lot. So you like you yep. know, went in, had dinner, go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sleep. We yeah. would wake up at like four or five sometimes, just go eat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the event would start at like ten or eleven. Yeah. And- yeah, oh yeah. Right out the car. Sleeping. Yeah, right oh out the car. Oh my god. I think Trina's jaw's yeah. on the table right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not RV life. For those who can't yeah. see right now. That is not it. glamping, okay? Right, right. <laughs> no. Yeah, where's that RV at yeah. now? Come on, I should have just asked you. You're going to have to yeah. put it right over her head and, and they really go <laughs> like. Do Airbnb it out? Is that, is yeah, that something? <laughs> yeah, hey, Ethan, here's an idea. That's, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, my gosh. Right, but seriously, right. yeah, the drive, right. like, not just the physical drive down here, but, like, the drive that yeah. you guys have. The figurative mm-hmm. speaking. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was, just yeah, I incredible. just, like I said, it was uh, just talking with these guys. I, I really, you know, saw how, I shouldn't say how quickly, but, yeah, like, relatively speaking, you know, from building something into nothing, mm-hmm. I saw the process, and it really, it didn't take that long. But it was just a. I, I saw it. I saw it happen. So the fact that I saw it happen with people that I met, I was like, you know, right. Yeah, that real life accountability. Yeah, like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what yeah. It is. I mean, yeah, we. It like he was saying, it came from an idea of our heads. Like, it's, it, like I said, it didn't even come from Flamingo at first. It came from like just a name of from my initials. You know, yeah. it just kids. all come concepts, yeah. and uh-huh, then uh-huh. you make it into a real life tangible thing. You know, you start putting it on apparel. You start slapping it on pins, or uh-huh. you know, making advertisements, putting it up on tents or whatever. So becomes tangible to people and they start believing in that like oh he can mm-hmm. you know this guy's really making something i guess into right. real life and that's what i've come across in the last four years i've been here most is like everybody says man you like you're confident and you just believe you have this high power of believing in something or whatever you're going like he said whatever his vision was yeah. you know i believed in it and that's right. something that people have attracted to and yeah, you know, and I when you get somebody like similar minded, just like Eddie, yeah. man, this yeah. man's on the same gear I am. And yeah. powerful and, things and happen. People, he's seriously. yeah, he's been yeah. grinding. Yeah. He knows what it takes. You link up with someone in that vision, and phew, you move mountains. Seriously, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. you can do a lot it's of crazy. things, man. You can do a lot of things. So That's it's cool, it's man. been cool. It's been it's been a fun ride. Uh, you know what I appreciate about your generation is that like when you start something, you <coughs> put a cause behind it from the jump. 
Or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. You don't for just. The kid. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, we don't just do it just to be like monetary. Okay, that's mm-hmm. cool, you know. But I, I, yeah, our generation's definitely, like I said, we want to yeah. work with kids. That's been my kind of. Every when I was going through elementary or high school, or grade school, they would mm-hmm. say, you know, you you'd be a good gym teacher, you'd be a good this teacher or whatever. Yeah. Because I like working with kids, you know, just yeah. helping them. And as I've gotten older, I definitely want to be able to like help and guide them in the right direction. So yeah, because in the lost mm-hmm. world we live in nowadays, you know, just right. even if it's a piece of them, you know, just mm-hmm. help them with one thing, like teach them a life skill, you know, how yeah. to cook or something, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's just how I feel, you know. I mm-hmm. want to definitely give back everything. Like, I don't I don't need big houses and 20 beach houses, this and that, yeah. 100 yeah. cars. I just want to help people keep keep giving the money back to whatever it needs. You know, yes. Supplying clothes, supplying food, supplying yeah. that's cool, man. people's educations, whatever it is. Giving back is priceless. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Seriously, it's, mm-hmm. it's the main thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. I wake up feeling like if the day I can, like, go out and actually ha- host, maybe host an event by my... Like presented by Flourish and yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it just make you make you feel good. You yeah, know? man. I feel good just waking up, you know, knowing that I'm gonna be able to hustle for myself and yeah. make the money That's for the myself. Thing, and yeah, yeah. The, mm-hmm. the day I can start giving it back, yeah, I'll. I'll That's our so goal. Much. That never changes. That that never changed. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. we're all still That's trying. That's like the to, ultimate goal. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we just want to be able to have a platform where we can not only just create content, but it's just like right. we can just give back and give a platform for potentially other people to give back too. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know, yes. and, and to add to all this too, like bring in more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's there, you know, it's just a steady build. It's yeah, like man. anything. That's know? right. That's true. That's true. So. That's true. Mm-hmm. So how does like, you know, having a business in two cities work? You know, how have you guys how are you guys making that work? How did you how did you plan yeah, that? Yeah. Why did you think of that? I mean, from well, the jump. I mean, usually it takes like a business with like, oh, let me wait five yeah, years, yeah. then we'll see. Ten years, then we'll, we'll see. But like, I mean, honestly, we have two leaders right here. And, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. it, if I didn't have the confidence in how much he stepped up in the beginning, we may not have been able to do that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like I said, I, I knew where he needed to be, which was A, make an income from the get because, like, he right. came down not having any. So he needed yeah. that. Yeah. So I said, dude, get in B and I, like I said. And, and just kind of revolving around that system, I guess, you know, uh, he took his own leadership role to – find his own projects to start mm-hmm. his own projects, you know, mm-hmm. and we would collaborate in between that. Right. Um, and then I said, all right, that, you know, you take that branch. I'm going to go down to B and I or start B and I in Wesley Chapel, Tampa area. And wow. we build that branch and we have enough. That's a good area too. Yeah. yeah oh, it's nice area. yeah. It's, it's up and coming. Mm-hmm. Everybody yes, it I meet, it's, it's uh-huh. like oh, five years ago. None of this was here. It sure wasn't. So yeah. I hear that even in Gainesville still. You yeah. Know? Oh yeah. You know, I've for only sure. been here for about a year now and, and people are like saying, Oh, you should have this place changed so much even within the last nine mm-hmm. months and i'm mm-hmm. like dang it's wow yeah. i guess i yeah. came at a good time yeah yeah. and, and not th- and also too uh, the fact that it works in two different cities you know with the nature of what we do in our business it's a lot of it's just digital work so right. it can just literally be done anywhere as long uh-huh. as there's internet exactly. access we can yep. send you files you know mm-hmm. yep. so yep. Yep. um yep. Not to mention, too, you know, the very little overhead with it, too, which helps, True. you know, not having an actual established storefront yet, yes. which is something we do want to get. Right. But until then, you know, yeah, we're, just no gonna, yeah, we're going to reap the benefits of being able to work remote, right. constant communication. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you look at my phone log, it's it's like, who's this Will guy? You wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah. Why is he always blowing <laughs> you? Always, always, always calling. Always calling. Always, yeah. You That's know, cool, but man. you have to, though. It, yeah. I mean, it's like yeah. every day I leave B&I, it's like phone call to him. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah, every day at 9 <laughs> o'clock, I. I always know I get out before him and I know he's going to call me you know right. we got the bigger chapters so it sometimes takes a minute <laughs> yeah, yeah right right on right on yeah. Yeah. So, that's cool right man. yeah, yeah.